Good morning, Warriors. Derek Lynn here with Praying for America. Proverbs number 29, verses 4 and 7 says, By justice, a king gives a country stability. But those who are greedy for bribes tear it down. Isn't that the truth? Verse 7, The righteous care about justice for the poor but the wicked have no such concern. This is happening right now in our land. Let's pray for America. Father God, in Jesus' name, we come asking you, God, to give America the king that will bring us stability across this country. And we're asking you, Father God, that the wicked were in the land that are currently tearing the country down. Let there be a shift, a, a, a remover, Father God, a severing of the ties, a separation, a cutting away, a throwing away of evil, God, in Jesus' name. Now, God, I'm asking you right now in the name of Jesus, because your word said that the righteous care about the poor, but the wicked have no such concern. Father, it is obvious for the American people to see across the country who cares and who do not care. Father, we are asking you, God, to expedite, speed, express God, and give justice to we, the people, God, swiftly and suddenly in Jesus' name. Even as we go forth today, Lord God, this, this day, God, that you have made, we are rejoicing in it and we are glad in it. Father, we are counting on you to give America a demonstrative power of heaven's invasion across this land. Mm. In Jesus' name, Father God, we know as you have revealed to us, there is a plot, there is a plan to overthrow, to remove God and replace and reinstate. Father, I'm asking you that righteousness will be exalted across this country and wickedness will be toned down and removed suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Lord God, I speak blessing across the USA, blessing in America's White House, blessing in America's Supreme Court, blessing God in Jesus' name in America's capital, building Father God. I ask God that you will cause the hosts of heaven to invade, oh God, the offices across this land, everywhere where there is a decision made to affect the lives of the American people. Let there be a shaking from beneath the ground in the name of Jesus, God. Let there be a swallowing. Mm. Let there be a tumbling. Let there be a boomerang, a ricochet, Father God, an explosion for that which is evil, God, and may truth, my God, surface in the mighty name of Jesus. That, Father God, there will be people put in position that have aligned themselves with your word, that would not be afraid nor ashamed to do that which is right in the favor, God, of the elected ones in the country. We go forth today. We ask for divine covering and divine protection. For, Lord, we know something is coming. Something is about to take place. And Abba, we are asking you to protect us in the midst of it all. Shield your people and my God, defend your people. Promote your people, God, and tear down wickedness. Now, God, we pray for elections that are upcoming across this land by the end of this year. We are asking you, Father, that wherever there is an evil plot where wickedness has believed in their hearts that it is a done deal, they have it in their back pockets and they are going to win. I'm asking for divine switch. I'm asking God for divine intervention that no money that they spend, Father God, will be able to take anything away from the righteous this time around. Because God, we the people who are called by your need, we humble ourselves, we pray, we seek your face, we turn from our wicked ways. Now we're asking you, Abba, to hear from heaven, forgive our sins and heal the land. Father God, may wickedness be toned down and may righteousness be exalted. May wicked leaders be removed and may righteous leaders that have a right heart after you, God, and a heart to serve you and a heart to please you and a desire to do right. May those, oh God, be brought in to rule the land because we know that when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. And we thank you that the king shall bring stability once again to the USA the righteous care about the poor and the wicked who have no concern. May they be removed suddenly and may the wealth that they have accumulated and the bribes, God, that they have taken wrongfully to affect the way of life in America. May the bribes be given back 
not 30, not 60, but 100 fold. In the name of God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, and the Ruha Kadosh, the Holy Spirit of God, I pray this morning for the United States of America. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. Warriors, we are going to go out and have a fabulous, blessed day. You know what? Because if God be for us, who can be against us? God is on our side. We will not be shaken. We will not be moved. I'm telling you, something great is about to take place. I keep seeing the visions of clouds. It's like clouds are rolling all over the place like a log. And the Bible says that the clouds are the dust of the feet of the Lord, meaning he walks on the clouds. He also covers his children with a pillow of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. Whatever is about to take place and explode across this country, the righteous shall be kept in the name of of Jesus Christ. We praise the Lord on today for this grace to come, constantly praying for these United States of America because we believe in the power of prayer. And where there is a people to pray, there is a God to answer. And it seems as if our prayers, things are happening and then they stop. But I remember what the word of God said, that the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avail it much. So we will not stop praying my God, until we see the answers to our prayers and give God all the praise, the glory, and the honor because he alone deserves it all. Until the next time, may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Don't forget, keep that armor on. Helmet of salvation, swall of the spirit. My God, breastplate of righteousness, shield the faith because without faith, we can't please him. Belt the truth because the truth is going to make and set us free and feed shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace, knowing that we are going forth. The Lord has sent his army ahead of us and we have nothing to fear until then. Bye-bye.